Hi, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to install the MediaPipe uh, library on the Jetson Nano. Basically uh, this tutorial is a new version of uh, my previous tutorial. I'm going to focus on uh, the latest version uh, of the Jetpack uh, uh, 4.6. Before we start, uh, please uh, subscribe my channel so you will get notified for the new videos. Our uh, starting point is uh, setting up a new uh, flash SD card from the Jetson Nano um, homepage. You should download the, the last Jetpack version, uh, as for now it's the 4.6. Install it uh, using a uh, SD, SD card uh, flasher and after uh, this uh, simple process just restart your Jetson Nano and we will uh, good to go. I will leave in the video description a link to a file, to a txt file that uh, has all the steps so you can follow the video and run uh, the commands as a copy paste and you can see the error message, the, the information, information message along with the video. The first process, please notice, is uh, to increase the swap file, uh, basically in, in order to increase more RAM. So just uh, copy it uh, as is, run it, and um, of course reboot the Jetson Nano. Okay, now we are uh, ready to start. Um, we will open a, a terminal on one side and on the other side we can see all the commands. So uh, first of all, um, just uh, to double check that uh, my Jetson Nano is updated. And then we are going to install several uh, Python libraries. Please notice that we are going to use uh, Python uh, 3.6. This is the, the version of Python that is uh, out of the box after installing the Jetpack uh, 4.6. We will uh, continue with the installation of uh, more Python libraries. Uh, next, there are uh, several installations that are required for TensorFlow. TensorFlow. MediaPipe is based on TensorFlow, so uh, before we are installing the Medi MediaPipe, we are going to install these uh, libraries as a prerequisite. Please pay attention that uh, for each Python library there is a specific version, so it's uh, really important that you will uh, follow the exact uh, commands. Next is the, the H5PY library. This uh, Python, Python library is required for NumPy in order to store binary file. Next we are uh, installing the fantastic uh, OpenCV Python library. Okay, now we are starting to install the MediaPipe library. 
we are going to install it or build it uh, from the source code it's very important to follow uh, each steps and uh, please notice that we are going to install more Python libraries in each process As I said uh, earlier, I'm keeping uh, the full process uh, displayed on the screen um, so you can uh, compare your results uh, to my results so you can see if there are error messages, if you can uh, uh, try to correct them so uh, I'm keeping the, the process without uh, narration so you can follow the, from the beginning to the end Now we are going to run the, the shell file. Before run, running it, we are going to give it uh, the right uh, permissions. And then uh, we are going to, to run it. Uh, the process of this, sh of this uh, shell file is uh, a little bit uh, long. Took about uh, half an hour. Uh, I'm going to keep it uh, so you can uh, follow and you can compare the, the whole process to, to your process. Good luck.
Okay, we are uh, almost uh, finished. Um, the last step is uh, another uh, OpenCV extra uh, Python library, the OpenCV con uh, contrib. And uh, next, uh, we are going to to run. First of all, we are going to download the the media pipe uh, wheel that supports uh, CUDA. And uh, then we are going to, to run, uh, and this will be the last uh, step. I will leave uh, a link for several uh, Python uh, code of uh, running uh, the Mediafire library, like uh, detecting face, detecting the body position, detecting the, the head. for my next videos. Bye bye.